Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to build a Streamlit app that predicts Uber fares. Okay, before let's get started. Download this data set. It's a regression problem, obviously. The data has no linear relationship whatsoever, so save yourself some time. Import the libraries. Read the data frame. Okay. Label encoder. Okay, DF fillin A, zero in place equals true. DF drop these three columns on axis one. Okay, and then we're going to use gradient boosting regressor. This one scored the best. Okay, do not even try adding polynomial features. It'll do no good if you do a linear, any form of a linear model. Okay, test train split. Because x equals everything but the fair amount, y equals the fair amount. And remember, we're going to use these for our options for the user in the web app later. Okay, fit standard scalar, fit predict. Okay, now we're going to score. 57% accuracy, 27% error. Now, I could have done better if I hypertuned the parameters, but I didn't feel it was necessary. Okay. In the requirement text, uh, just uh, do scikit-learn and numpy, and that's pretty much it. Okay, commit the pickle file after you downloaded it. Now, let's go to app.py. Or if you saw my other video, um... Commit the same things in the same pickle file. Okay, import these library setup option, this from last time. Only we're going to open the model this way. Okay, and then there for the user interface, the text and the headers. Although you can put whatever you want. I would suggest putting this right here. You know, your longitude. This range, this range you have to do because these are longitude and latitude ranges. Negative 90, 90. Negative 180, 80. And 1 and 8 just because you never know. Maybe in the data set there was somebody who took a big van. Who was driving a big van and had 8 passengers. Okay, anyways. The predict button. The inputs as type float. Update the res. Now, let's get to uh, this thing. I picked this place near Bolivia. Um, now, let's predict the Uber fare. Uh, let's go even closer. 1764. But the numbers have to be a little different. 1790. Okay, one passenger. Fifteen dollars is their fare. They're pretty close in distance. Okay. So, anyways, guys, uh, when you guys build it, and if you guys feel free to hypertune the parameters and improve it, this was just a little demonstration. This was not shooting for the greatest accuracy and performance. Obviously, we would have went with, uh, we, I would have scoured the internet for the best data set ever and hypertuned the parameters after the best model. This is just a little data science project and re reinforcing uh, your proficiency learning streamlet. And feel free to be creative and write whatever you want in here, whatever you want to appear right here. Okay, guys, uh, next, I'm going to take a break. Next time, uh, we're most likely going to do something with SageMaker. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, I forgot to mention how you deploy on the cloud, Render Cloud, where we normally deploy Streamlit apps. I did deploy one on Streamlit Share, but, um, okay, it's really simple. You just connect your GitHub. 
I mean, it's like really simple. You don't even, uh, and then your requirements, Tex already went over that. See my other videos as well. And then run app.py or whatever you named your app.py file, streamlet run, run it. So all you do is connect your GitHub, choose web as a service, don't you static. And then there's your website you go to. It appears right here. Okay, guys. Um, that's all. Feel free to implement your own methods. Thank you.